Makers, Lisa here from Andrew Designs. Just thought I'd pop a quick tutorial together to show you how I prepare my pattern pieces ready to use in the patterns. So all of us pattern designers cut up our pattern pieces slightly differently and then we provide different instructions for how we want you to assemble them once you purchase the pattern, print out the pieces and get ready to make the item. So this is just how I do it and I'm just going to show you so that you can then refer to the directions and understand exactly what you're supposed to do. I'll show you two different examples. So the first one will be how to join pattern pieces in sequence. So one, two, three to create longer strips and also how to join them in a grid like fashion. So for example, for this one, for the SNS tote, so we've got one, two, three, four. So come with me, it's really quick and easy, and let's get started. To assemble pattern pieces in a sequence, A, B, C, D, you will need your pattern pieces, some sellotape to join them together. I just use a rotary cutter and a ruler to cut mine. However, you could rule a line and cut with scissors if you want, that's just gonna take more time. As you'll see, I have a rotary cutter like what I use for fabric. However, I have paper written on it and I have an older blade in here that used to be for fabric once upon a time. It's now far too blunt for fabric, but it is perfect for cutting paper. So this is my paper cutter. To start, all you need to do for my pieces is you'll see on the pattern pages that each of them have little gray square or rectangles, sorry, that when joined form a half inch square. These are, gonna what, these are what we're going to use to match them up. So I like to go along, because I'm left-handed, I like to trim the left-hand side off each of the pieces of paper. However, if you're right-handed, it'll be more logical for you to trim the right-hand side. So A doesn't have any rectangles on the left, so I'm just going to put that to the side. I'm going to trim the left side off B. And all I do is line up my ruler so I've just got a smidge of the gray rectangle peeking out and I'm just gonna trim the edge of the paper off. So that's B done, I'm gonna do C. One thing I should say whenever you're assembling pattern pieces from my patterns, always trim and assemble them first before you cut out the pieces. Once you cut these out and you cut off these page numbers, it'll be much harder to figure out what pieces go where and you'll almost be setting yourself up for failure or a pretty good challenge anyway. So always trim and assemble the pages in their entirety first and then cut your pattern pieces out. So that's C and D. So that's my pages trimmed. So from here, all I need to do is stack them lining up my gray rectangles to make my half inch squares. So I'm gonna start at the end here where I finished up cutting and I like to turn them so that I can eyeball it horizontally. And all I'm going to do is place the trimmed piece of paper over top of the non-trimmed side, match up those rectangles so they're nice and butted up against each other, and also cross-check that the lines for the pattern pieces are also lined up together. And then all you need to do is just run a line of tape across to stick them down. And that's the first pair joined. So then I'm going to do the same for, so that's D and C, then I'm going to do the same for B. Again, trimmed edge over top of non-trimmed edge, match up those rectangles, check that my pattern pieces line up and they look really good, and hope that it doesn't move. Grab some tape and stick them together. And one more here to attach A. Again, trimmed edge, oops, over top of non-trimmed edge. Check everything lines up with itself. Looks good, I'm just gonna use this as a weight. I don't want my pages dropping off. And stick. And that's done. That's how quick and easy it is to assemble sequenced pattern pieces or pattern pages. From here, you would go ahead and cut out the pieces you require and move on with the next step in the pattern. 
to assemble pattern pages that end up in a grid where you've got, for example, one, two, three, four, or A, B, C, D. This is my process for how I do it. Again, because I'm left-handed, I usually end up cutting off the left-hand side of the pages. If you're right-handed, you'll most logically cut off the right-hand side. So first of all, sometimes it helps to just lay the pieces out as they are in order, so you can visually see what you're going to be putting together. So I've got A, B, C and D and you can see already there's the shape of the pattern piece and once we've trimmed off these inner edges it will all come together nicely. So from here what I'm going to do is I'm going to trim off this left hand edge of D and B so that I get a nice cut edge right up next to the grey boxes. So I can just leave the pieces right where they are and I'm going to trim off those edges. Again having the ruler right up next to the edge of the grey box and just trim it off. And that's that. So now that those pieces are attached or trimmed, sorry, horizontally, we're also going to be joining it vertically. And again, we need to trim down one of these sides so that there's a cut edge to overlap onto the non-cut edge. So I'm going to push these two up and I'm going to cut the top edge off these two pieces and to do that I'm just going to rotate them 90 degrees so that they're on the side and I'm going to trim. And then rotate them back and we can start to see our piece come together. So we know that this is going to overlap here, this is going to overlap here, and then this bottom section is going to overlap onto the top. So we're going to literally sellotape it together as I just showed. So first we're going to do this bottom group, cut edge over top of non-cut edge, matching those grey rectangles up, and also checking that the pattern, the lines for the pattern pieces match nicely as well. And we're just going to sellotape it together. And that's that first one. I'm going to repeat that for this top pair. So again, I'm just going to turn it so it's easier to sellotape. Cut edge over top of non-cut edge. Match up the grey rectangles. Check the pattern piece lines line up nicely. And tape it together. There we have our top row and our bottom row and then all we need to do from here is place our bottom row with the cut edge over top of the top row, match up all the rectangles along the whole width, double check that all the pattern piece lines line up nicely as well and once you're happy with the placement I'm just going to weight it down so it doesn't move, sellotape it in place. For these wider strips I like to sellotape the middle section first and get that stuck and then I tape the sides. And that's all there is to it. From here you would cut out the size that you require and move on with the next step in the pattern. And that's all there is to it. Your pattern pieces are now assembled and ready to use and you're ready to start cutting out your fabric. I hope you found this tutorial helpful and I hope you've learned a few little tips and tricks on how I cut up the pieces ready for you to use at home. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below. Otherwise, until next time, happy sewing.